Welcome to RadicalWellnessTV.com. This is Sean Coach Kabalka. And he helps... Who do you help? This is video number one. I help all human beings with their mind, body, and spirit problems. You want to find a coach that specifies in something that you're dealing with. You don't want to go to a coach that just generalizes because then the coach is going to be all over the road. You want to get some specifics. And with me, I see the basic client or the kid that I'm working with that has mind, body, spirit problems. It's all tied into one. You can't really say that it's just dealing with the body because really it's not. You've got a mental aspect, you've got an emotional, spiritual aspect. And you, when you look at all three of those, the mind, body, and spirit, um, I think the first thing you have to look at is the mind because that's the first thing that you're talking to. You're speaking to the person as if they're another human being and you explain to them, give them some self-awareness and then give them some self-esteem, empower them with some really strong skills that they can use in order to do a daily activity or they can work on just simple activities that will get them through those moments, those stressful moments mentally, whether it's a sporting event or if it's a business event or if they're preparing for a trip or if they're packing. Some people can't get on that airplane without packing correctly. It's so amazing how strict and, and how stressed they get about certain things. And if you were to take these webinars, you would learn so much about how the mind impacts the body and the spirit. But the first one when I talk about the mind, I'm really interested in the mind most foremost because <clears throat> I really am amazed at how relationships, whether you're relating on, <clears throat> on the internet or you're relating on the phone or you're relating person to person, however you communicate, that's the mental aspect that you have to have. You have to be sharp. You have to have a way in which you approach uh, relationships. And even if you're, if you're not doing business relationships or communication relationships, you might be doing interpersonal relationships, whether it's a first dating experience or you're trying to find a new love or just trying to find friends. Some people have goals, others don't. And so I help people delineate and try to find out exactly by taking some surveys exactly what they need to do and where they're at. You do a baseline to find out where they're at and then these webinars can go off and really empower you to go out and meet other people. There are some very interesting people. Choose the right people in order to communicate with, do business with, have interpersonal relationships with. It's very, very empowering to know that you have it inside your body to say yes and no. And of course with the mind, it doesn't always set barriers. It doesn't know how to do that. It crosses the line. It goes very creative sometimes and says, oh, I think I'll go paint over here and then I'll go over here and I'll make this bed and then I'll go creatively out here and do some gardening. So the mind can do a lot of wandering tricks, which is good, but if you come to me, I'm going to be a little bit more specific in my training and bring you back so that you have some really strong boundaries in terms of how you're thinking and what you're thinking about and try to have some insights into not only into personal relationships, which is really interesting to me how people interact, but also like music and art and history and movies. And there's oh, so many things that you can get out of these specific uh, interactions that can give you an intellectual uh, pickup, if you will. Uh, it kind of recharges your battery. I mean, if you heard someone talk about jazz, you'd be impressed with how intellectual jazz is. Or if you listen to four guys singing, a barbershop quartet that has an actual fifth voice in there and I didn't know that and if you listen you'll hear this extra little harmony and there are some hidden things in all of these different endeavors and I've worked with a lot of different people who are musicians uh, artists uh, creative people and they have a lot of difficulties focusing their mind and getting the job done whatever project they're working on they get they tend to drop the ball and move on to another project they never really come back and finish that book or whatever they're, they've been working on. So my webinars are going to be really powerful, and you want to check in for the next one because we're going to go to the body, which is really interesting. Okay, thank you so much, and you can reach me at Pioneer Valley High School Athletics Department, Coach Sabalka, or you can visit me on Google. You can find C-A-B-A-L-K-A, -A -A, or you can look at Dr. Knott, which was my therapy business. There's so many different ways to find me on the Internet. 
Uh, if you look at radical wellness, Dave, you'll be able to find me also. Thank you for checking in.